Welcome to the official best of, the show that takes you around the country, state by state, showing America's best destinations and attractions. From our studios in Hollywood, California, it's the official best of. And now for the official best of America, featuring Georgia. My name is Katie Harrison and I'm the head keeper at Wild Animal Safari in Pine Mountain, Georgia. We're about an hour from Atlanta. The park opened actually in 1991, but it's come a long way since then. We have lots of animals. So this is Igor. I'm back to actually go in there and feed the ring-tailed lemurs. This is Zatar. She's a Nilgai antelope. Her mom just didn't have enough nutrients or for some reason couldn't feed her enough. And so we did have to bottle feed her after she was about a month old. So we're about to enter our aviary where we have four macaws. This is our spotted hyena, Heckle. They look more like canines, but they're actually more closely related to cats. These are our ring-tailed Kawadi Mundis. They do like to look for their food in the ground. That's why they have the long noses. You can see they are excellent climbers. That is Goliath. He's our big Siberian tiger. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a friendly sound. He's just letting me know that he doesn't mean any harm. basically drive through the park and the animals come right up, stick their heads in the vehicles, you feed them. It's really educational too, there's a lot to learn about different animals and things. The walkthrough part is really, really something else. It's just a good time, it's a good way to spend the day. A lot of people don't understand that a lot of our animals are pet surrenders. These animals need a home after some people realize that they don't want them anymore. Also that they can't provide at home what an exotic animal would need. And the alternative to that would be euthanasia. So we love our animals and we always want more for them and wish more for them and we always will be doing that. Hey man, I don't have anything in there. Jocko's a very smart monkey because he's a white-faced capuchin. They're used in movies and TV a lot just because they're so smart and so easily trained. Luna here is full grown. She's just a pygmy goat, so she's still really small. Now this guy is Dumbo, and he's a Nubian goat. This one is Rowdy Bear. Him and his sister have actually been here pretty close to when the park opened. Bam Bam is very popular here at the Wild Animal Safari. You know Bam Bam. Does that feel good? Our alpacas just got sheared, so they look kind of funny right now. Cappy's our female capybara. Now capybaras are the largest rodent species in the whole world. These are the New Guinea singing dogs. They're the rarest dog breed in the world. When they all start singing together, they almost sound like a church choir. This is Cyrus. He's a serval cat. They have the largest ears in proportion to their body, so they can hear miles away. This is our emu dad and the babies. The emu fathers are the ones that sit on the eggs and then they generally take care of the babies afterwards. We have four sulcata tortoises. Sulcatas are the third largest in the whole world. This is Charlie, he's our dromedary camel. Now a lot of people think that camels actually have water in their hump, that is not true. It's actually fat storage for scarce times when they can't find food in the desert. So right now we're in our reptile house. You may catch us on a keeper talk day where we actually get little animals like Jedi, the hedgehog out, and we'll let kids touch them. This is Schmeagol. He loves to be pet, and kids love to feel the difference between his body and his tail. I'm standing here in our snack bar area. A lot of different foods that you can choose from. This has just been a small peek into our world here at Wild Animal Safari. We would love to have you come visit us in person. You can either take one of our guided tours on the tour bus, you can rent one of our zebra vans, or you can take your own vehicle. So come see us. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. I am Lisa Baker and I am with the Covington Newton County Chamber of Commerce. Covington is actually the number one film tourism destination in the United States. As the original Hollywood of the South, Covington has actually been in the film business since 1954 with over 110 productions through that time period. For instance, The Vampire Diaries, or In the Heat of the Night, or Dukes of Hazards, and then also movies like Selma, Footloose, and Remember the Titans. 
TV and movie buffs will find many places to shop, dine, stay and play, all within the backdrop of their favorite TV shows and movies. It's been really great having the Vampire Diaries because they brought so many visitors here to our town. We have actually had a revitalization in some of the areas and it's really great because Netflix is now carrying the Vampire Diaries, which is bringing a whole nother wave of visitors to our beautiful town. Our downtown is like driving through a back lot without having to worry about all the added security. And Covington has this unique ability to be any town USA, which production companies love because they typically don't have to do much of a facelift in order to make the location work for whatever they are filming. Our businesses and residents all know what to expect, which is fantastic because we remain a film-friendly designation. Good morning, I'm Lisa Connor with the Newton County Board of Commissioners and welcome to the Newton County Historic Courthouse. This is such a beautiful building, it was built in 1855 and it is one of the most photographed courthouses in the state of Georgia. We have been so honored to have different films come in and different TV shows filmed here. It is a very iconic place for Newton County and the city of Covington. It's great to be down here where they were at, you know where all the filming was, it's really exciting. The clock, absolutely love the clock in the square. And so that's the main attraction that I like to come to see. And it's a wonderful town here. Everybody's just so nice. And everything is just beautiful. I mean, it just brings back a lot of memories. Hi, my name is Jessica Lowry. I own the Vampire Stalkers here in Covington, Georgia. We do the tours to the sets of the Vampire Diaries, and now we have a store that is dedicated to all things Hollywood of the South. We have our museum that also showcases a lot of the props. Warner Brothers was grateful enough to donate to the store. The cast of the show is amazing. They come by a lot and visit us here in Covington. I'm worried somebody's gonna bite me from behind. Good thing I have a vampire steak. Hi, I'm Angie Vesborn, owner of the Mystic Grill, along with my husband, John. We do different seasonal menus and change it up a little bit and keep a one-page core menu. Then for all the tourists and the people who love the Vampire Diaries to also be able to come here and feel like they're part of the story. It's just a lot of fun being able to walk into the Mystic Grill where they film Vampire Diaries. Welcome to the Lockwood Mansion. This is where you should remember from the Vampire Diaries, very iconic to the Vampire Diaries. Hey, I'm Ann Wildman. I own Wild Art Gallery. We are here located on the square in Covington, Georgia. We have two businesses in one here at Wild Art. We have the gallery up front and in the back we have classes, workshops and that kind of thing. At night we also have paint parties. You can bring your food. You can actually bring a glass of wine if you care to. This is a great place to gather. If you're daring, we have a wonderful Covington ghost tour and we offer that on the weekends. It's very fun. Y'all come and check it out. Our film friendly designation it gives our locals some amazing stories to tell the visitors that they wouldn't hear anywhere else. So welcome to Covington and come back many, many times. You're watching the official Best of America featuring Georgia. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Official Best of America. Welcome to Hightower Falls. I'm Elizabeth Walls. We are located about an hour outside of Atlanta and we have a beautiful 80 foot natural waterfall with an 1850s gristmill ruins as our unique offering for your wedding. This is actually my family's property. We decided it was too beautiful not to share. So my mother started the business about 20 years ago and started allowing weddings on the property. We have two ceremony sites that have the backdrop of the waterfall and we have two buildings that we can also house the receptions in. You can have a rustic wedding or a very classy wedding here. It allows itself because of nature. It's the perfect backdrop, blooming plants, flowers, bushes, and such. The soothing sounds of the waterfall, a creek that runs through the property. We have woods, pasture. We even have a mountain view so that you don't even have to decorate outside if you don't want to. 
We offer weddings throughout the year. Spring and fall are our most popular times just because of the scenery and the ability to have an outdoor wedding. We attract people from all over, both in and outside of Georgia, because we are a destination, somewhere to gather all your friends and family together. On our property, we offer many backdrops for pictures. The ruins themselves, the old stone comes out very, very beautiful. Our goal is to offer you your dream wedding. Come visit us or look us up at HightowerFalls.com. We'd love to see you. You're watching the official Best of America. I'm Jennifer Edwards with the Department of Public Relations and Tourism with the City of Conyers and the Georgia International Horse Park. Welcome to the Horse Park. It is a facility that was born from the 1996 Olympic Games and today hosts fairs, festivals, horse shows, trade shows, mountain bike events, obstacle runs, and you name it, we can do it. We also have the Georgia On My Mind show and they are taking up all of the stalls and we are maxed out in space because we have so many people here. We're doing a show right now called Georgia On My Mind and we come back here again first of July for an even larger show called The Big A. The Big A is consistently the third largest horse show in the country. The reason they're so big is obviously location. The horse park's great. It's set out in the country, it's a beautiful facility, and for us on the production end of it, the people who work here at the horse park are the best of anywhere we go. They're so accommodating, anything we need. One of the things horse people are picky about is the footing and the grounds where they show to make sure the horses are safe and this is the best place. It is a beautiful facility. We've been showing here pretty much since I was a kid. It's been great. It's ran well. The people are fantastic. I'm super passionate about my horses. I have about nine of them. Two of them are here showing. The thing that I really love about this horse park is that it's just a beautiful venue. Great support from the staff, from the city. It's probably one of the Ritz-Carltons of the show community. We have people that come from all over the United States and Canada to show here, and it's just an honor and a pleasure to be able to participate. Today, we have the Ragnar Trail Race that's going on in our steeplechase area. Ragnar is a long distance overnight trail running relay where teams of eight run all through the night, all through the day, relay style, really have fun. It's a little less about running and more about kind of the community aspect and meeting new friends and having a great time. We've been at the horse park here for six years and it's an amazing venue. It has so much legacy here with the Olympics in 96 and the mountain bike trails. So it's perfect for us. This is the camping area. We have our glamping area that's over there if you don't want to pack. We have a concierge so they take really good care of you. We have all kinds of vendors, food, and we'll have music and beer and all kinds of fun stuff for people to enjoy. This venue is beautiful and I can't imagine doing this run anywhere else. It's one of a kind. Most of the events come on the weekends. There's no cost to come and take in these events and enjoy what there is to offer at the horse park. If you're not here for an event or you are and you're looking to do something in your downtime, we have a number of things you can do on property. We have the trail system for hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. We also have Cherokee Run Golf Club, which is just up the road, an 18-hole Arnold Palmer designed golf course. We also have the Big Haynes Creek Nature Center that's just across the street from the horse park. It really depicts every aspect of the beauty of Georgia. Lovely wetlands and trails for you to take in the flora and fauna of the region. I'm a local horse trainer, so we utilize the facilities at the Georgia International Horse Park a lot. They have a great network of trails and we can do a lot of fitness work with the horses through the trails. We love the trail system here at the horse park. You've got beginner trails, advanced trails. It's a wide range for all skill levels. You get to see a wide range of wildlife as well. So we really, really enjoy that. And we've been natives of Conyers for probably 20 years we grew up here. After growing up in Atlanta in the city, it's nice to have kind of the city feel where there's plenty of things to go and do, but it's not quite so busy. Still has a small town feel to it, although it has developed a lot in the last 20 years. We have a lot more restaurants, shopping, etc., for people. We're so excited to host over 200 events throughout the course of the year and hope you'll take some time to come and join us. You're watching the official Best of America. 
Welcome to Madison, Georgia's best small town. We have that pace of living that you really look for when you're traveling, leisurely yet vibrant and very friendly. It's the second largest historic district in the state of Georgia. Here you will find over 100 antebellum structures, including the beautiful antebellum homes that you will see as you drive down Main Street. Heritage Hall was built in 1811. The home is one of the three homes in Madison that is open daily for tours. The Joshua Hill House was spared when Sherman's troops came through. He did burn down most of the commercial establishments, but all the old homes were left in place, and that's why we are such an attraction these days. Madison is located in Morgan County, which is named for General Daniel Morgan. Madison is named for President James Madison, and Madison was one of the first cities named for him. Madison has been great at repurposing its old buildings. Our Welcome Center is housed in an 1887 firehouse. The Madison Morgan Cultural Center was built in 1895 in the Romanesque Revival style. It served as one of Georgia's first graded schools. Town Park serves as a meeting space in the community, but it's also where you will find festivals like the Firefly Festival, Madison Fest, and other really fun gatherings in the community. We invite you to Madison to see what we have to offer, cultural, fine restaurants all over the place, arts, and a place where you would just love to stroll through. I moved to Madison, Georgia 20 years ago. Madison is a quaint, lovable, fun, small town. Everybody knows everybody. Madison is located in the heart of the Piedmont region, just an hour east of Atlanta, located exactly between Atlanta and Augusta. Madison is the epitome of true Southern charm. Together, we make Madison the town that it really is. Love, peace, happiness. Come join us. You're watching the official Best of America featuring Georgia. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Official Best of America. Hey, I'm Sean Mathis. This is Miles Through Time Automotive Museum. We opened the museum up with one car, which is my grandpa's 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville you can see here. And I stayed up all night detailing this car the first night I got it. I took it to my first car show the very next day. Ultimately, I got thinking and I was like, how else can I utilize this car? Because I felt so fortunate enough to have it. Miles Through Time Automotive Museum, I describe as a co-op living museum. Everything inside this museum belongs to different people. You've got cars where they're family heirlooms, they don't want to sell the car, and they don't have anywhere to put it. So they store it here and people get to enjoy it. Average is about 45 minutes to about an hour depending on how much you're really into reading and learning everything there is to see here in the museum. The oldest car we have in here is a 1910 Sears and the rarest is a 1911 brush and both of those were in one guy's basement just here in town that nobody knew he had and he absolutely loves coming in here and talking to people about his cars. I'm the Community Development Director for the City of Tacoa. A lot of history here that reflects not only Tacoa but our region in Northeast Georgia. And today there are five of my father's cars here, Carl Smith, who grew up in Tacoa. Here in Tacoa, there's so many things to see in this small little town that you can make a day trip out of it and it'll be worth the trip. We've had a lot of events over the summer. For example, Tesla came out and brought a Model X. We had large groups of people come up from Atlanta and the surrounding areas, even from Florida, share their love of cars and the history that we are protecting and sharing with everybody. Every year in June, we have our annual car show where we have hundreds of cars show up. So it's really a community thing for people to all be able to get involved between the new generation that comes here and sits on the floor and watches the display case spin with little cars all the way up to the 90-year-old man that has a birthday party in here and remembers the past. That's what it's all about. You're watching the official Best of America. My name is Maddie Atkinson and I work at Cuscoil and Lake Oconee and I also serve on the board of directors for Putnam County Chamber of Commerce. Over a century ago, the Creek Indians lived and worked alongside the Oconee River, which they called the Great Water. Today, part of that river is known as Lake Oconee, and its natural beauty and serenity draw people to its bountiful shores. Lake Oconee was created in 1979 when Georgia Power completed the construction of Wallace Dam. Hey guys, I'm Demetrius Woods here in Eatonton. The history is just incredible. 
All of this history started back in 1807 when Eatonton became the seat of Putnam County and then Eatonton also became the official city of Putnam County in 1879. Putnam County is home of the only two rock effigies east of the Mississippi River. We have Rock Hawk and Rock Eagle. Both were believed to be created before the pyramids. Rock Hawk is home to 20 miles of hiking trails, many outdoor classrooms, and a viewing tower. Rock Eagle also has a tower that was actually built in 1937, where you can climb dozens of feet in the air and look at the effigy from high above. Both Rock Hawk and Rock Eagle are free of charge. We're standing in the Plaza Art Center in the museum, which you'd never know it was here. It's kind of tucked away, but just a, a beautiful place, rich history here, and just a place that we all love to come and hang out. It used to be the old grammar school here in Eatonton back in uh, 1916, and then we turned it into the Plaza Arts Center here in the early 2000s. Also, one of the cool things about coming into the museum is you're walking in, you actually get an opportunity to see different highlights throughout our entire community. Going through Main Street, getting to see O'Connell's stores, back at the soda fountain, everything. One of the primary staples here was actually Peck's Theater, which back in 1948, the Song of the South premiered here at Peck's Theater, and then Alice Walker's Color Purple premiered here in 86. Also, we used to be the dairy capital of Georgia, which was something that we were super proud of here in Putnam County. Every single year we have a dairy festival. We always do a 10K race, which is it's called the Torture Trail. It's pretty intense, actually, so a lot of people come here from all over the country and even we had some people from outside of the country who have come just to run that race so that's always a big deal for us every year in the summertime. The Dairy Festival is actually always the first Saturday of June and so again we're super proud of that. We always invite and welcome people to our community for that event. Cuscoilla is located in Putnam County and it's the only private golf course located on Lake Oconee. Cuscoilla received its name from the Oconee Indian Chief Cuscoilla. Cuscoilla is the number one residential course in the state of Georgia and we are very proud of that. There are other public courses available in Eaton to Putnam County. The Lodge on Lake Oconee is a great place to stay if you're looking for wonderful views of the lake. We also have campgrounds, RV parks, and cabin rentals. Another great way to see the lake is to dine on the water. We've got three amazing restaurants on the water, Ben Island Grill House, Georgia Butts Barbecue, and the Pizza Place. One of the prominent museums right here, it's a huge staple of our community, is the Uncle Remus Museum. It's comprised of a couple of cabins, some old slave cabins actually, and there's so much history in that museum, but also the Georgia Writers Museum. That's a great place to go and visit. I learn a lot more about Alice Walker and her impact on our community. And we also have some amazing houses here that survived Sherman's March. A beautiful place, rich history here, some amazing restaurants, a lot of local places. We love our local restaurants. We support our small business owners around here and those places are great ways to get an opportunity to learn a little bit more about our community and the proud residents here of Putnam County. There's a lot to do in Eatonton, Putnam County and we look forward to hosting you. You're watching the official Best of America featuring Georgia. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Official Best of America. Warner Robins is the home of planes, trains, and heroes. The rest is history. Start your visit at the E.L. Greenway Welcome Center. Inside the historic train depot is the Georgia Artisan Center. Here you'll find Georgia-made, Georgia-grown items. The Museum of Aviation offers 51 acres showcasing over 85 historic U.S. Air Force planes, missiles, and award-winning exhibits. Come inside the Alberta Depot, dating back to the early 1900s where you can discover the area's rich history. We moved it down here to make it a heritage center for the city of Warner Robins, the community, but also for visitors coming in because people love to see the trains coming by and they certainly had that opportunity. Warner Robins love their military families as well as the many folks who come to play sports. You're at Little League Southeast Park, home of the Little League Southeastern region, one of five U.S regions for the league baseball and one of nine internationally. It's very unique and it provides a very big stadium feel atmosphere to the boys and girls who come out and play every year. Have some fun at Rigby's Entertainment Complex. It's a one-stop shop. It's just a lot of great things for ages from 2 to 92. Jam Fest is a southern rock concert. And it benefits the Museum of Aviation, the second largest Air Force museum in the nation. 
And this event right here is just an example of what Warner Robins is all about as far as how we gather around each other and enjoy each other's company and just have fun no matter what we're doing. You can look at the map and we're the heart. We're in the very heart of Georgia, but we're beyond that. We are the heart of Georgia. You'll find at the heart of Warner Robins over 75 years of history in aviation, trains, and recognizing local heroes with genuine Southern hospitality, making Warner Robins the best family fun destination in Georgia. The official Best of America supports those who support mankind's best friend. Hi, I'm Mike Chapman, and I'm the founder and operator of Chaps Chow Rescue in Atlanta. I've been rescuing chows for 40 years. We averaged 45 chows a year that came out of animal control that were going to get killed if they didn't get out of there. We still take in every child that we feel like we can help. Like most rescues, we're always short of foster homes. Every child we save is really something we think is wonderful, and they all deserve wonderful, loving homes, and that's our goal. This is BB, he's one of our rescues, and I flunked fostering. After he got here, I fell in love, and I think he fell in love with me, and we decided we'd make a good pair. Bibi, through no fault of his own, was abandoned in Los Angeles. The owner was met at the airplane by an ambulance and taken immediately to the emergency room. And the wonderful people at United Airlines advertised that they would fly him anywhere in the United States to a great home. And Chaps Chow stepped up and said, we'll take him. We also have a policy, we will take back any child if for some reason the family can't look after the dog anymore. I think that's a very important part of rescuing is that once you rescue that dog, you're responsible for that dog's life for the rest of its life. And so we take that, you know, very seriously. We have a Facebook page and we list our dogs there. We do have a donation site if anybody wants to make a donation. So we stepped up for a lot of dogs when we can, but that's why donations are real helpful. If you have chows or know the breed very well, you know they don't do well in animal control. Chow chows like to be in control, and we have pulled many a chow out of a situation like that that they were saying, well, we were thinking about putting him down. He or she is aggressive. And by the time they got in the car, we'd bring them home and they were the most loving dogs. It's, it's situational, mostly. We hope you'll follow up with us on Facebook, Chaps Chow Rescue. We would, of course, prefer fosters in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching the official Best of America featuring Georgia for 2019. Be sure to visit us at officialbestofamerica.com for more.